All right, Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. You know, first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And this video is going to go into, you know, it's talking to your ancestors off. You know what I'm saying? It, it's talking to your ancestors against the Most High. It's talking to your ancestors a form of witchcraft. You know, because, because you have a lot of our people talk to their ancestors, man. They do all type of, you know, they, they do some type of something. Witchcraft. Oh, it is witchcraft, bro. Talk to their ancestors, man. Sometimes, like the movie, the movie Black Panther, how they had put brother, they had brother lay down and they put like dirt over his face or something like that. And next thing you know, he started talking to his, his dead dad. You know what I'm saying? That's off, bro. It don't make sense for me. Why would I, why would I talk to the, why would I talk to my ancestors if I can just talk to the most high? You know what I'm saying? Why would why would I reach out to my ancestors and ask for help if I, if I reach out to the Most High? I'm not finna reach out. And you gotta think about it. A, a lot of our ancestors were wicked. I'm gonna keep it 100. A lot of our ancestors wasn't keeping the commandments. So why, why would I reach out to my great 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 uncle that passed away? I never knew. I don't know what type of I don't know what type of time he was on. But I'm trying I'm trying to reach out and talk to him and get counsel from him. You don't even know this man, but you trying to reach out to this man and get counsel from this man. You never met him in your life. You know, he could have been a homosexual. He could have been a, a pervert or, or a damn murderer. But you just try. You don't. Care, you don't care as long as he your ancestor. You, you trying to get information from your ancestors that you don't even know. They they not gonna tell you to keep the command. They they dead. Let's keep it one hundred. They they dead. And it's some type of witchcraft that you. And I'm gonna show you an account that our our forefather Saul did the same exact thing. He tried to talk to Samuel, which he did talk to Samuel, and Samuel was dead. He hired a witch. To conquer up Samuel, however she did it, for for Saul to talk to Samuel because the Most High wasn't dealing with him, right? So that's just a form of witchcraft, man. You talking to your ancestors is a form of witchcraft, right? That's it's, it's a form of witchcraft, you know. And you're not supposed to be doing that, man. You're not supposed to be talking to the dead, man. You know what I'm saying? And like I said before, they can't tell me nothing that the Most High can't tell me. Why would I reach out to my ancestors to try to get clues? To try to get information for sitting for certain situations, why would I reach out to them if I can just reach out to the most high? If I could talk to the most high, ask the most high for something, he gonna show me the that's not the answer. Is they can't show you nothing. They they, they, they they spirit is in the spirit world right now, they're they relaxing, they're not gonna answer you, man. The most high is the only one that can got the power to do that. So, this exit is 22 and 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So the Bible says you're not supposed to suffer a witch to live. And if you're talking to your ancestors, you're doing all with the sage, you're doing all like this, you got the you got the dang, you know, you're, you're cutting yourself, you know, you're doing talking and you're talking crazy, your eyes rolling by your eyes rolling, you know, rolling in the back of your head, you're conquering up, you know, spirits to talk to your ancestors. That's a witch, bro. You are a witch. Sister, you are a witch. And the Bible says, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Hey, when people find out, when, if somebody, because it's nothing new under the sun. You had our forefathers and foremothers doing the same thing. So, you know, you had them trying to talk to their ancestors. Once they, once people find out they was literally trying to talk to their ancestors and they, people ask, say they were hearing from their ancestors. Baby, bro, people looked at them like a witch, bro. Like, bro, you bugged out, bro. You got, spirit, you got, you got spirits on you, bro. Leviticus 19 and 31. Regard not them that have familiar spirits, familiar spirits of demons. Neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. See, the most I say, don't seek after them witches, bro. Don't seek after them people that had those big, those glow balls, right? And then they tell me I can see your future. Them witches, bro. A, a witch is not what you see on movies where they be on a broom. They had a little hat on. They be on a broom and they flying. That's not. That's not really. That's not a witch. A witch are people that literally cast. They can literally cast spells on you, man. Voodoo. Right? All those things, they, they seeing your future. They seeing you getting put to death. And they, they telling you, hey, you got two more years. And, and they seeing it. That's, that's, a, that's witchcraft on the left-hand side. Right? That's magic. They can You have people that can literally, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they want to feel your palms on your hands to see what type of person you is. Them zodiac signs, witchcraft. All this stuff is witchcraft. It's a form of witchcraft. And you talking to your ancestors, that's a form of witchcraft, man. You know, and it says, you know, you're going to... Most I say, I'm the Lord your God. He is the one that you need to be seeking, bro. That's what's wrong with our people, man. They want to seek, they want to seek their ancestors before they seek the Most High. They don't care nothing about the Most High. I, I, I want to talk to my ancestors. The ancestors told me. The an 
who are, who are those people that you're talking to? You know, who, who are those people that you get information from? You don't even know them, right? So let me get, um, let me get that. Let me get the story on, um, on Saul real quick. Let me get the story on Saul, man, because Saul, which was, which was a, a mighty forefather, you know, but, you know, he, he allowed those spirits to hop on him to the point where the, the most high, um, the most high started dealing with him. So he tried to seek, since, since he figured out the, he figured out the most high wasn't dealing with him no more. So he tried to seek out, seek out the witch to try to talk to Samuel, which was already dead. And we're going to see what Samuel told him. So like, this first Samuel chapter 28. So yes, it's off to do that, bro. It's off to talk to your ancestors. The second is is or this first Samuel twenty eight and seven through thirty nine. Um. Then said Samuel to his servant, "Seek me a woman that has a familiar spirit, that I may go to her and inquire of her." So Sam, so Saul saying, "Hey, seek, go find me a woman that has a familiar spirit." Now she, uh, for me, she got demons on her, bro. She doing all type of magic. You know what I'm saying? She casting spells. He want, he want, he want to, want his servants to seek him a woman like that. He kind of getting desperate because the Most High ain't talking to him no more. So he, he getting desperate. Um, and his servant said to him, "Behold, there is a woman that has a familiar spirit at Endor." And Saul just dis, um dis disguised himself and put on another raiment, and he went and, and two men with him and they came to the woman by night and he said I pray thee divine unto me by the familiar spirit and bring him up whom I shall name unto thee so he basically telling her hey I want you to bring this person to me that I'm finna that I'm finna tell you to bring up so come get your spirit get these go ahead and get your get your candles lit you know yeah you go ahead and get your mind right start rolling your eyes back but I need you to get this person here to me that I need that I'm finna tell you so he basically telling her to get ready for her, going to get ready to do your wickedness. And the woman said unto him, now this woman, the woman don't know it's Saul. Remember, he disguised himself. And the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knoweth what Saul hath done. She like, and the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knoweth what Saul hath done, how he hath cut off those that have familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land. Wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life to cause me to die? And Saul swear to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing. Then said the woman, Whom shall I bring up unto thee? And he said, Bring me up Samuel. So Saul told the woman, Now the woman don't know it's Saul. Saul told the woman, Hey, bring me. Because because Saul started off uh, not killing witches. Like, because he was, he was, at first, he started off by the law, doing what the law say. And the law say you can't suffer a witch to live. So he was casting all the people that were doing witchcraft out the land. But now he getting desperate. See how the spirit can hop, demons can hop on you, man. He went from casting these uh, the wizards out that was doing witchcraft. Now he now he trying to go to him and get counsel and get help from him. So he said, he said, hey, show me Samuel. He told the witch, hey, cast me up, cast me up, Samuel. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with it. Um, and when the woman saw Samuel, so she did some type of witchcraft and she brought Samuel back. I mean she brought his face. I don't know how I don't know if he I don't know how she did it or how it looked, but this man was talking to Samuel, which was dead. He was talking to Samuel. Then said the woman, Whom shall I bring her to thee? And he said, Bring me up Samuel. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice, and the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what saw thou? And the woman said unto Saul, I, I saw God ascending out of the earth. So she sent spirits, bro. All type of spirits. And he said unto her, What form is he of? And she said, An old man cometh up, and he is covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived what, that it was Samuel. And he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed down. And Samuel said to Saul, Let's, let's see what Samuel happy did. Let's see what Samuel, let's see what Samuel glad that Saul called him from the dead. Let's see that. Let's see your ancestors be glad when you be conquering spells to talk to them. And Samuel said to Saul, Why had why had why have thou disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul and so he asked him, Why did you why are you bring why are you messing with me? 
Why is you calling me down here? And Saul answered, I am so distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and Yahweh is departed from me, and, and answered me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called thee that thou mayest make known unto me what shall I do. So this man, so Saul was like, you no, know, he wasn't thinking. If the Most High not dealing with you no more, why would you try to call Samuel? That's what a lot of our people do. A lot of our people know that the Most High not dealing with them because they're wicked. So they try to take the easy way out and call on their ancestors instead of the Most High God. Right? That's not, that, ain't how, that ain't how it go. Then said Samuel, Wherefore, when thou um, asked of me, seeing the Lord is departed from thee, and it, no, he said, Then said Samuel, Wherefore, then does thou ask of me, seeing the Lord is departed from thee, and it becomes thy enemy. So Samuel asked him, If the Most High God your enemy and, and left you, why is you calling upon me? I can't do nothing for you. That's what Samuel's saying. I can't do nothing for you. I'm not there with you. No, I'm, I'm in the I can't. I'm in the spirit world. I can't do nothing for you. And the Lord had done to him as he spake by me. For the Lord hath rent the kingdom out of thy hand and given it to thy neighbor, even to David, because thou obeyed not the voice of the Lord, nor executed his fierce wrath against among um, Amalek. Therefore hath the Lord done this thing unto thee this day. Moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistines. And tomorrow shall thou and thy sons be with me. The Lord also shall deliver the host of Israel into the hand of the Philistines. Then Saul fell straightway all along the earth and was sore afraid because of the word of Samuel and were no, was no strength in him. For he had eaten no bread all the days nor all the night. Hold up. So he heard that from Samuel, man. He expected to hear some good news. A lot of our people expect to hear good news from their ancestors, man. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing that your the answer, they don't even, you know what I'm saying? They not, that's witchcraft. They ain't trying to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Even though, though it's people that can do that because we see that it was a witch that conquered up Sammy, which was dead. So you actually do have people out here that actually can talk to their ancestors, man. But it's a form of witchcraft, though. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to be doing that. Because in the, the day, you're supposed to be seeking the most. That's, a, that's idolatry. You seek your, your ancestors. Not even not before you even seek the most high, like that's 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 off. Then you're supposed to be seeking your ancestors anyway because they can't do nothing for you, they can't help you get out of this captivity, they can't uh, bring you salvation, right? Only the most high can do that, so it only makes sense for you to seek the most high, even though even a righteous brother, you know what I'm saying? Even the, the um, the um, the brothers that were keeping the commandments, David, Daniel, um, uh, uh, um, Paul, Peter, even them, it don't make sense, it don't make sense. To try to pray to them or pray to talk to them when you could just talk to the most high. But that's the same thing they was doing. They was they wasn't getting counsel from their ancestors. They was getting counsel from the most high God. So how much more us? Going they wasn't getting counsel from their dead ancestors. Right? You know what I'm saying? So how much more us? These scriptures are made for our learning's sake. We had to get into this thing, man, and see what our forefathers was doing. They wasn't conquering up they 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 um they uh uh um I had a brain for it. It was a conquering up their own um, ancestors. Right? What what can our ancestors do for us, man, in this position that we're in right now? What can they possibly do for us that the most high can't do? That you gotta seek them. You feel what I'm saying? That's all and that's what the scripture scripture's saying, man. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanna make this video a quick video just to show you. This is you know what I'm saying, a short video just to show you that. You know, it's off to do that, man. It's off to seek your ancestors, man. That's a sign of witchcraft. You're a witch if you do that. It's a sign of, you know, sp casting spells, magic. All that stuff is real, man. You know, so stay away from that and seek the most high God, man. He's the only person that's going to be able to get to help you out in the situations that we come coming in. So with that, I want to give all honor and glory to you. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai. I say Shalom.